and we're going to look at verse number 14. And this is what I was talking about, and this is why I want to go over a lot of these different, different things where um, more specifics on the prayers. So if you want to get your prayer answered, these are some of the things that are important that, you, that we ought to understand as well. Verse number 14 says, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. So if we want something from God, he says, if we ask anything according to his will, or we, it, we start asking for God things outside of his will, he might not hear us. All right, we start asking God for things. You know, people go, well, I prayed to God to win the lottery, and I didn't win. You know, I, I went, I prayed, and I got the ticket, and I prayed over the ticket, and I really needed this money, and I didn't win. I thought Jesus said, ask and you shall receive. Well, I asked, and where is it, right? Well, you're not praying according to his will. Because God, maybe God doesn't want you rich. Maybe we shouldn't want ourselves rich. You know, that's, you find that in the book of Proverbs and in many other places. That, you know, we shouldn't, we shouldn't, we don't want to be extremely poor, but we also don't want to be rich. You know, you don't want to be led to, to be being tempted to stealing, you're so poor, but at the same time, you don't want to have all these riches and then get lifted up and, and forget God. Verse number 15 says, and if, you, if we know that he hear us whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. So the key is getting him to hear us. Well, if you want him to hear, hear you, let your prayer be according to his will. Flip back, if you would, to James chapter 4. We're going to see something very similar here. James chapter 4. Just go backwards, a little, not very far in your Bible, to James chapter 4. Look at verse number 1. The Bible reads, From whence come wars and fightings among you? Come they not hence, even of your lusts that war in your members? Ye lust and have not. Ye kill and desire to have and cannot obtain. Ye fight and war, yet ye have not, because ye ask not. So first, and that was my first point, Hey, if you need something, you want something, you, you go pray to God. You ask God for things. He's right here. You don't have anything because you're not asking. But then he follows this up in verse number three. You ask and receive not because you ask amiss, because you're asking for the wrong things, that you may consume it upon your lusts. So consuming things upon your lusts, that's not God's will. I mean, I hate to break it to you, but if you want to just fulfill your lusts, your lustly desires of your flesh, that ain't God's will for your life. He, wa he wants you to live godly and righteously and spiritually, not carnally and living for your flesh. And when people are asking just for a whole bunch of money, well, why is that? So you can spend it on yourself, typically, right? Oh, I want this and this and that, and people get covetous, and that's a covetous is, covetousness is a lust. So when you're desiring things, you just want to have things, and oh man, if I won this, I'd have this and this and this and this and all these things that you want to buy. That's covetousness. And God's not going to hear you. He's not, you're not going to receive because you're asking amiss. You're asking for something that you shouldn't be asking for. You're asking for something that's wrong. And here's the thing, and praise God for this. I, I'm, I'm thankful to God that he doesn't just give us everything that we want. How horrible of creatures would we be if we got everything that we wanted or we thought we wanted and that we asked for in the sense of things that are bad for us. I mean, it happens with children. Look at the children who, you know, oftentimes would be the case is when their parents split up and then they want to win over to, to be the one that their child loves more. I've seen this, I don't know how many times. It's horrible. And they want to be the child's friend instead of their parent. So they got them competing on one parent buying more things and a child asking for this and asking for that and just give, 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 give on everything so that the child just ends up expecting everything to be given to them because nothing's withheld from them. Nothing is holding back. They just get whatever their eyes want. And it spoils the child and, and gets a bad attitude where they start getting entitled and thinking that they deserve all this stuff. And oftentimes, the things that they get, 
They shouldn't be getting it all anyways because they're not good for them. 